Hello everyone, I'm ExtraCheesy87 and this is Let's Play Yakuza Kiwami Part 31. In the previous video we finished our whirlwind story-filled adventure with the unfortunate deaths of Reina and more importantly Shinji, who basically did no nothing wrong. Our boy is dead. We're supposed to be heading to Club Shine to get some info on how to go to Shangri-La so we can do some stuff there. But first things first, we're going to do some Kamaki training. I did a little bit of arena stuff uh, in between videos. I uh, got two more Kamaki training thingies. So we can do at least one of them now. Since it seems like there's some sort of cooldown associated with them. Now we are completely out of heals, basically. We have this bad boy and that's it. So hopefully whatever it is he has me doing ain't hard. Because we will fail, maybe. My favorite student! Uh, yeah, I did. Oh, ho, ho, you've got the image of the Kamitachi. I was worried you'd attempt to weasel out of it. Very well, let us begin. This session is something you'd actually expect in training. That's unusual for you. Am I going to stand under a waterfall? Mm -hmm. Um, you plan to be a monk in the mountains? Nothing to the sort. I want to dodge the bullets I shoot at you. If you can dodge a bullet, you can dodge a dodgeball. Hey, you're not actually packing heat, are you? Where'd you get that? Worry not. Tis equipped with rubber bullets, just as before. This time you cannot be hit. I must dodge every shot. Yeah, got it. Did you see those cutscenes in the last video, man? Kyu's got no problem dodging bullets. You ready? Your training will complete when you dodge all the bullets in a lot of time. Uh, all right. Evade all the blasts in one minute. If I just like stay at stay at range, you think maybe he can't hit me? Cause I really I don't feel like I'm dodging, but he's not hitting me. Like I feel like I'm just out of range. Cause like I feel like these dodges should not be working. Like, I, like I'm pretty sure I'm not dodging at all. Cause they're very mistimed cause I can barely see the dude. Okay. I don't know why that one failed and the others didn't. Because none of those others should have worked but they did. <laughs> And if he still slumbers, the dragon will not awaken from my training alone. And you fucking shot me in the stomach, man. Alright, let's try it again. The world's slowest slow pans. The problem is I can't fucking see this man. I wonder if maybe I should, if I, if I stay closer. He just shot me in the damn face. I'm trying to dodge too early. As you may have noticed. And I'm just kind of like spamming it as soon as he uh, starts aiming. Because I don't know the timing. There's like a decent delay. So we don't have to do it quite so early. But... In my mind, I'm like, this dude should be like shooting as soon as he starts aiming. But there's like a, you know, second or so delay. Like, I have no clue why that missed. He waits so fucking long. <laughs> and we did so well the first time, and now it's the classic, I gotta do this like fucking 12 times now. Like, why would you not just auto-retry me? And like, unless, you know, I say no, of course. I don't know, what if I just like, run way the hell away?
I think we can do like a one two count. One two. One two. Okay. Not not a slower one two. One two. One two. God damn it. He's so slow. <laughs> like I can't tell if it's actually different timing every time. <laughs> It's like, I can't wait that long. I'm used to playing games where you have to actually, you know, not have boomer to your reaction speed. Uh. That's going to be my excuse. Alright, what if I just... I mean, the prompt clearly says evade all the bullets. That doesn't fucking count. You can't just whack me. I mean, that one's stupid as hell. That's obnoxious. I should be able to get right next to you and dodge. I didn't realize he was going to fucking just whack me. What if I just like hide behind the barrels? Oh god, he hates it. He hates it. He hates it. You think I won't fucking ring around the rosy pocket full of posies your ass? Who do you think uh, think smarter, not harder? Because he like wasn't even aiming at us that time. Maybe that's why we've been dodging. Because he just kind of like sometimes randomly aims in the wrong fucking direction. Okay, he's 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 coming, he's coming. All right, it's just it's just like when you're fighting Gwyn in Dark Souls for the first time, and you're like, I don't know what this man's fucking doing. I'm relying on the uh, the rocks to guide me. That's all this is. This is just rock strats. Okay, that was like significantly easier. Well, obviously the barrels is a little bit cheating, but like, uh, just actually being able to see where he's aiming. Counter executed after pressing the X to quick step. Use it when there is an open and enemy's attack. Evade and strike. Aye, evade your enemy's attack and strike with a counter. You may already know how to use a similar skill, but our style's version of the move is distinctly more powerful. Hey, the damage it does to enemy's vitals is on another level. See when you use the move in actual combat. Alright. Now we do have that, but he's not going to let me do the mission. <laughs> so we'll probably come back and do that in a little bit. Maybe next video or something. Once again, I do... I feel like the, the thing should be more about, like... Using the move in practice. Because I think that's one of the issues I have with, like, the way unlocks work in this game. And those are the same in Zero. Where it's like, you unlock stuff just kind of like randomly in the menu with like no context. And then it's like hard to remember like even like how to make it work in practice. Like it's not internalized. Like just like reading the quick description then hitting the button and it's like okay now you have this thing. Remember to use it even though you've been playing the game for like 30 hours without having this ability. Like actually having it be something that you learn like via the gameplay and have to like implement to successfully unlock it would be better and it's like the, sometimes they do it like that and sometimes they don't it's weird i think the ones where they actually ask you to use the ability correctly are the best there's nothing distinctive about the comfy souls healing effect bulletproof glass amulet a master ball sure i'll take a dang master ball can i sell some of these weapons that are in my like how much does it cost to fix equipment okay that's actually pretty cheap i thought it'd be more expensive just because like those repair kits are like half a million I mean, I guess the benefit is that you can use them in combat, but at the same time, do you really need to use them in combat? Yes. 
Used to live on Tangaichi Street before I came here. Saw Rena san from Serena pretty often. She was so young and pretty. How could she go before me? This is pretty heavy. Hey, Kiryu-san. Heard two of your friends pass at the same time. My condolences, ma'am. Hey, there's the Majima thing we need to do. Forgot about that. Yeah. Heard you're headed for Shangri-La. You know what a hassle it is to get in there? Better check in with the Nightlife Info Center. Know where it is? MEB, of course I know what the MEB. I'd never forget about the MEB. We should also do some Cabaret Club stuff just because we're really far behind on that. And if I <laughs> want to finish it all... Shinji was a legend in the nightlife circles. Used to frequent the nightclub info center on Shikafuchi Street. Maybe you should drop by. Yeah, we'll do that in about 10 videos. We just did a ton of story. We're never going to touch the story again. You have a 2,000 yen bill for me? Anyone around here with 2,000 yen bills? Because I still need to do that quest for the dude. I think we only have two of them. I know, I know you're mad. I'd be mad too if I was you. If I had to live my existence as in your vessel, vessel of flesh. I know you. I knew it was you, Kiryu-san. What's up? Figured you had gotten lost in the soapy waters and ladies of Shangri-La by now. Shangri-La is off Taihei Boulevard and let me know how you like it. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know if I turned in one of the bills. Boy. Oh, oh but wait a minute, Kishan. Can I see that 2,000 yen bill? That's the one. Would you mind giving it to me? I can't hand it. Maybe because I have to hand them over one at a time. Because it is weird that the other guy who was previously talking about 2,000 yen bills wouldn't give me one. <laughs> Here's a little token of my appreciation. You want to give me 20,000 for this? Ah. Can't collect things and be a cheapskate at the same time, my boy. I appreciate it then. Thanks. <laughs> now, one down, four more to go. Do I have any more? Yeah. Okay. Uh... All the advice uh... I've got to give. Yeah, I don't know if it's like you have to do them one at a time. Wait. Oh, that's exit. Oh, we could talk to that dude. But I was wrong. I was full of foolish advice. Where's Jewel? We'll, we'll pop by Jewel. Whoa. Why not? You know, I don't hate myself enough. Let's let's go. What? Boy, what the? It's called courting asset. What? Welcome to Jewel. Our prices start at way too fucking much. You should be paying Q to come here. Man, so damn famous. Who are you, by the way? I don't even remember. Whoa, what the heck are you wearing? I can't believe you can go out in public like that. What the fuck is it? What are you talking about? I can't wear anything else. I don't know what that means when they keep hitting me with that. I'm like, yeah, okay, Kiryu hasn't bathed since he got out of prison. What? What do you, what do you want me to do about that? That's Kiryu's problem. How dare you come in and just say Q stinks is the first thing? You stink, lady. You're wearing the same thing you wore last time, probably. I don't really remember. You literally just told us that we, we fucking stink and to get out. Because your thing was that you're just like a very basic person, right? That was your gimmick? That you're very boring? So you don't like when your guests hit on you, but have you ever fallen for a customer? Yeah, have you seen the people who come here? Yeah, makes sense. I wouldn't really want to date the people who go to a host club or a hostess club anyway. Guess not. You might already have a significant other, huh? I mean, like, I get that, but at the same time, maybe shouldn't 
be in this line of work. Yeah, yeah, men need to consider a girl's feelings. They should realize that no one really likes being hit on by a total stranger. I, actually, I don't know. Pro probably not. I'd feel really fucking awkward like I was about to be stabbed. Hmm, maybe that would excite me. <laughs> Other hostesses might not drive well with a customer who doesn't bother flirting even a little. I feel like that's a lie. I feel like it's something they tell the hostesses to tell their customers. Is that, yeah, the hostesses will totally date you if you keep giving them money. Haha. <laughs> uh. I'm not gonna lie to you, but. <laughs> He's half the hostess you are. She's dealt with all kinds of customers, so the guy she chose should be fine. Hmm. I mean, I've heard worse stories. The two of them could elope. Honesty's the best policy. They can be very honesty's the best policy. Not weird for a guy and a girl to meet at a social place. Hmm, that does make things difficult. Fruit platter, fruit platter, fruit platter. Fruit platter. I want fruit. High school. Oh, okay, reunion. I was like, what the hell? You're in high school. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I don't even want to talk to anybody under the age of 20. I see. So you're going to see your old friends. You've had multiple high school reunions? I guess that's... I don't know. We don't do that shit. You do it like once every... I don't know, I guess some places do them like every five years. That's weird. Granted, that's maybe for people who like actually enjoyed high school. I would never go to a high school reunion. You couldn't pay me money to do it. It's too bad. After you graduate, there aren't very many opportunities to get together with your former classmates. Uh, back the hell off, lady. You can't have any of this fruit platter. What do you think of people who don't attend their class reunions? Okay. So, my real talk is, who the hell wants to go to a class reunion? Are you crazy? But, the real answer is probably going to be something about... Either they're antisocial or they don't like fun. Because my real, I mean, I, I really don't like any of these. I would say, fuck a class reunion, just straight up. Op secret option X that you can't see. We'll say, we'll say antisocial. It'd just be antisocial. Shouldn't everyone attend? That seems like what she would want to hear, okay? Alright, my bad. I thought maybe you'd want to hear that, because you seem kind of like that type of energy. You should value your relationship with your friends. When you're old and lonely, it's not so easy to make new friends anymore. Oh, you didn't want to go? I thought you were mad that nobody else was going. What, well, you were planning not to? I don't know. I mean, if you want to go, go, but it's kind of up to you. More fruit platters. What is, what is carbonara? I don't really know what carbonara is. 
And this is just like some noodles. What you get? それがね、ちょっと趣味の悪いネックレス。サプライズみたいな感じだったから、とりあえず喜んでおいたけど。Okay, how ugly are we talking? 前に私が高い注文とかしなくていいからねって言ったのを勘違いしちゃったみたいで、物が欲しいわけじゃないのに。Well, okay, this sounds like it's on you. Trying hard to get in your good graces. それが一番迷惑なんだけど。Okay, that's fair. Just flat out refuse, ask for cash instead. That's an old trick. I have no fucking clue, man. That's an old trick. One of the oldest tricks in the book. Get different customers to buy you the same necklace, right? Wait, what? Oh, Kiryu san, you guys to still in it. What? I thought we were saying that was like an old trick for the dude to get a free date. To be like, hey, we're gonna go shopping to get you something, but it's like essentially a date. Yeah, I guess. Only wear one at a time. What do you do with all the extras? If you say sell them, I'm leaving. <laughs> this you don't keep any spares, huh? That's kind of like shitty behavior. The time is almost up. I don't want to be. I don't want to talk to this fucking lady anymore. Hundred thousand yen. That's like. A third of an arena fight. Ah, right, go the hell away. Back off. Did you get a throw? <laughs> yeah, I had, I had fun too. And throat chop. Oh my god, look at that, all that meter. Do you? What are we? Ah! Help me, Kiryu-san? He needs my help. What happened? Hey, Shuki, okay, shit, damn, I'm moving. I don't know what's going on, but you must be in trouble. I should search around the Shikafuchi. That's like right over here, right? Isn't it? Yeah, it's this street. But like where? You say west or east? What'd you say? Street east. Okay. I don't know why I looked on the map to know which direction is east. Oh, there it is. It's on our map. Actually, um, okay. I know you said you needed help, like, urgently, but you know who also needs urgent help? Uh, Kiryu's pockets. They urgently need some delicious stamina and EX. You can't actually expect uh, Kiryu to run around with no stamina without an immense amount of energy drinks that can cure bullet wounds. I mean, I won't win. I won't freaking want well, all of them. Maybe not every single one, but I'm gonna leave just a little bit of space in the inventory for some new stuff. You say, sir. Uh, Dropped a fast stack of cash in this cabaret girl at Shrine, but she still never said yes to an after-hours date with me. Gotta figure out how to close the deal. Have you thought about, you know, not being the type of person to spend a bunch of money on someone and expect them to go on a date with you just because? The building on Tiny Boulevard with smoke pouring out of it. You think something bad was going down? I don't know. Oh yeah, we're supposed to go to the video area as well, right? There was something... Something that sounded vague, potentially Majima related. 
I don't know. What was it? It wasn't this. Okay, it was none of these. It was like men wrestling real hard. And I don't I don't feel comfortable clicking any of the others. I just I don't I don't I can't do it. I I don't trust the game. I'm not I'm not clicking on G Cup nurses, all right? I mean, I'm not doing it. You can't make me. Come, have dinner with me. You gotta eat something, right? I'll keep you company. We'll have a good time. Oh, that's who you are? I thought you were some random lady. I'd rather be alone. And if we go to your club together after dinner, you get a bonus for bringing in a guest. Two birds with one stone. Seriously, you're bothering me. You think I'd go out with you just because you're flashing some money? You're dead wrong. Uh, don't be such an ice queen. Wanna go shopping instead? We can get you a new purse or some jewelry. Whatever you want, it's yours. <sighs> so sleazy. Uh. Like, here you son. <gasps> Who's this guy? See your boyfriend, Yu Chan? Mm. Huh? Yeah, th this is my boyfriend. So, so, so sorry, I'm taken. Oh. Damn. Didn't know you had a man. Why didn't you say so in the first place? This blows. I'm done going to your shitty club. I thought he was going to try and fight us. Sorry, Kyu san. I had to lie that you're my boyfriend. Never do that again. Kyu can be bound by no woman nor man. He transcends sexuality. Are you, are you sure that was the right move? He's one of your regulars, isn't he? <laughs> Oh, it's more than fine. I told him I'd never go out with him, but he got all carried away just because we hung out after hours once. He's been waiting for me outside the club lately, just like he did tonight. Regular or not, he's getting creepy. Oh, your safety is really all that matters. Head to the club soon. Kiyu-san, thank you for coming to my rescue like that. Damn, we're gonna get there at any rate. We're gonna be triple S before we even know it. Speaking of triple S, I guess we'll go do Mikima. Nope, nope. You deserved it? Oh my god, there's so many angry criminals. Oh. Don't jump at Kiryu's presence. That knife life inner, inner, uh, nightlife info center on Shikafuji Street? There's a dude named... Uh, Alright, Tatsu Min Mizuno, who hangs there. His info's the real deal. He's got experience to back it up. I want to be like him when I'm his age. You couldn't get the job at Shangri-La? Well, same. I doubt they'd hire me either. Getting more and more dangerous in these parts. It only makes the cold weather seem that much colder, but... <laughs> My loins are on fire. Where should I go to have fun tonight? I mean, not a hostess club if your loins are on fire. No happiness. I heard there was a gunfight in the hotel district. Some people died, but didn't even make the news. That's the scariest part. Here at the arcade. Oh no. Oh, you're lucky. You should have totally been knocked to the ground. In fact, I'm insulted that you didn't. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, you guys met up? おお、田村に会う気か。ついに会えたか。はい。いろいろと話を聞いてました。キリュウさん。例っていうのはこのことだったんですね。ええ。でもよかったな。田村が生きてて。またいろんな話が聞けますよ。これでしばらくネタにも困らないですしね。あんまり調子に乗るなよ。図に乗って記事に死すぎたら本当に東京湾に浮かんじまうぜ。そうだぞ。シャレにならないぞ。はい、気を
Majima! We must, we must battle. What do you think the chances are that he's not going to be in Breaker style? Because I really don't like fighting Breaker Majima, man. Uh, go away. I gotta go talk to Breaker Majima over there. He's got a sweet feather in his head. Excuse me? Hello? Memories of a bubble. What? Uh, can I ask you something? Do you know where I could find the platform here? A platform, huh? I don't think a club has one. R really? How sad. I was hoping they'd have one here. Sorry to disappoint, but a platform. That's nostalgic. They were pretty trendy in the disco clubs during the bubble economy. Oh man, remember when Key would fucking break it down? The good old days. Wow, oh, you were in the disco clubs during the bubble? I mean, that's probably why the clubs don't exist anymore. It's because disco's not in style. Mm. Yeah, not when I was 20 years old or so. Just your regular, popping in to dance my cares away. Wow, can you tell me more about what it was like to go to a disco club in the bubble? Mm. Well, the women were dancing in there, gaudy, tight dresses. The men would hit on them relentlessly. Everyone drank like fish. Then I did a sweet fucking power slide. It was banging. It was kind of one long, drunken party. I see. That must have been quite a sight to behold. Uh. Yeah, but why are you so interested? Uh. It's a roll-up for a movie set in the disco clubs of the bubble economy era. The movie is called Disco Queen of Love. I'm an aspiring actress, and I'm going to audition for the lead role. See, you're trying to learn about that time period. Yeah, I heard disco clubs had platforms during the bubble. I wanted to see one in person, so I came here, but... I turned 20 this year, so I was just a kid during the bubble. I want to play a part of someone who really lived in that era convincingly. I figured I'd try and learn more about the bubble economy myself. I see. That's pretty dedicated. <laughs> Thank you. I've always wanted to be an actress, ever since I was a little girl. That's why I don't cut corners, even when it comes to the smallest details. Hmm. Well, good luck. I hope you can nail down the era somehow. Hi. Thank you. Oh, sorry. I should have introduced myself. I'm Aya Yabuki, and you are... Name's Q. So, you were a regular at the disco clubs during the bubble, right? Hmm? Yeah, I guess. Um, if you don't mind, would you mind telling me more about what it was like back then? Daddy. Well, there were dinosaurs everywhere. We had to sharpen our spears to hunt saber-toothed tigers and... <sighs> what? If I can get real details on someone who actually lived in the bubble economy, I think I could nail that audition. Stories of someone like you would help me recreate a true bubble economy persona. Mm. Alright, this is the part where I come clean. I didn't actually do the dancing uh, sub-story. It just kind of like... I got towards the end of the game and I hadn't done it and then I was like, ah, the game's taking too long that I just kind of like going to go ahead and finish it. And then I just like, that was one of the sub stories that just kind of got cut and I never really did it all. So like, I don't really have that much to talk about in terms of like the dance and stuff. Plus I was really bad at the mini game. I think the mini game's really good, but like I didn't really like, I wasn't any good at it. So that also hampered my enjoyment of the dancing side quest. So like, I don't know if I'm really the right person for this. I mean like, yeah, sure, whatever. Well, I see your point, but why ask me? Your parents are probably aware of how things work. My parents are a couple of country folks. They never left their town, and they wouldn't know a thing about disco clubs or the bubble. I see. So, can I rely on you to tell me a little bit more about it, Kiryu-san? Please help me. Um, Alright, Majima, just keep dancing, man. Sure, I guess I can make some time for it. Thank you very much. I wouldn't even know where to start. What kind of information about the bubble economy would you want? Mm, let's see. I heard people did some weird stuff to hail a cab. What did they do? Oh, I remember that one. R really? Uh. Cabs were pretty popular back then. People would stay out late partying at the disco club or something, and the cabs are the best way to get back home. We got kind of competitive, so people would do interesting things to get the cab's attention. We did? Like what? I'm trying to remember what we did to hail cabs. I got no fucking clue. I mean, I kind of want to say this because it's fucking ludicrous. <laughs> but, like, let's let's try and play it straight until we mess up. I mean, wait, th yeah, 10,000 yen bills to just show, like, how excessive everyone was because all the money was so flush. We used to flash our 10,000 yen bills at the cab drivers. 
How would the cab driver have seen it? Well, we'd hold them in our hands and wave around like this. Okay, yeah, yeah, that seems familiar. What? Is that really what people did? <laughs> That's too funny. Back then, cab drivers had the luxury of picking their passengers. If the destination was too close, they'd actually refuse to take the job. We'd wave 10,000 yen bills to indicate that we were going far away and willing to pay to the drivers. Are you serious? Wow, the bubble economy was so intense. That's really good info to know. I think that tells me a lot about the lifestyle. Hmm, that's good. I need to know more. Please tell me about the bubble economy era. Uh. Yeah, sure. What else do you want to know? Let's see. I'm really curious about how relationships worked. Oh, God. I'm sure dating was quite different then. Uh, was it? Hmm. Dating, huh? Thinking back on it, one of the popular things guys did was drive one around in their cars. You mean like they'd take their girlfriend places? That sounds pretty normal. Guys still take their girlfriend's places today, you know? I wouldn't know. Q does not own a car. Yeah. No, see, most of the time they weren't even dating yet. Women would ask guys to drive them around, but most of those guys ended up never making it past friends. What? <laughs> it's fucking, that's actually insanity. Again, you could not pay me to get into a car with a stranger? So men went through the trouble of driving women around even though they weren't together? Uh. Yeah, especially if they had a nice car. A nice car would mean they had money. But since everyone had money, men really had to go out of their way to impress girls. Wow, I see. So men had to really work hard to get a girl's attention then. Now that I think about it, didn't those guys have kind of a silly nickname? I thought I remembered hearing that once. Car driver Tron. Runner boys? Doggy doggy boys? Doggy boys? Is that who? Oh yeah, they did have a nickname. I knew it. Do you remember what it was, Kyusan? Absolutely not. I don't remember it because I never knew it in the first place. It was a name that made fun of them for driving women around just because they told them to. Lock knee lads, leg lads, leg lock lads, lock. Okay, lock knee lads. Let's deconstruct this. Lock knee. Well, it's like their knees are locked because they're tense. Leg lock lads because they're submissive, so they let the ladies leg lock them. Yeah, that's it. I remember. It was leg lock lads. Leg, 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 leg lock lads. So that five times fast. Leg lock. Why would they be called that? You, we'll tell you when you're older. Uh, because the woman had the boys in a leg lock. Um, that doesn't sound familiar. Nanny. Really? I guess I went wrong. Yeah, I have no fucking clue. Are you just guessing, Kiri-san? Uh, yeah, alright. Yeah. Uh, no, I, uh... Come on, I'll never learn anything if you're just stabbing in the dark. <clears throat> How the hell is I supposed to know that shit? So you don't remember the nickname those boys had? Let's see. Men who drove women around in their cars were called... Lock knee. This is really what my heart said, but then the horniness came in, and I was like, ah, oh, leg lock. Yeah, 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 that's it. I think it was lock knee, boys. Lock knee? You sure you aren't thinking Loch Ness? You know, that cryptid monster that lives in the European lake? Mm. Huh? Maybe she's right. I remember the news talking about the Loch Ness monster sighting at the time? You sure it was Loch knee? Actually, I'm not. Sorry. Why would it be Leg Boys? That's a, that just seems like so boring. That's not even a nickname. Hmm. I'm not going to learn anything if you can't separate the real memories from the fake ones. Uh, so the name of the middle of Leg Lads? I remember now. It was Leg Lads. Yeah, that's it. How do you you know? Leg Lads? Why didn't they call them that? I don't fucking know, man. Because those women use them as a means of transportation. Kind of like using the men as their legs. I guess. I like... <laughs> leg lock lads better. See, that's a little sad they got made fun of when they were just trying to do something nice. Yeah, but like, they weren't doing something nice without any expectation of recompense, right? You're right, women had lots of nicknames for men back then. There were grub buds, gift guys, and keeper coons. Men got pretty carried away with all the money they had, but women weren't innocent either. They were the type to get a lot of attention, they went overboard too. The economy was good and everyone was high-spirited to a fault, huh? The story really helped me understand the mindset of young men and women at the time. That's good. 
Yeah, please, tell me more about the bubble economy era. I guess I could tell you about the disco clubs you were saying you wanted to hear about. Uh, finally, this is the setting of the movie I'm auditioning for, so I'm really looking forward to this. Well, uh, they played disco, and it was a club. I think that's all you really need to know. The disco club was pretty similar to this club, actually. There was a dance floor, and off to the side, some VIP rooms. Men and women would basically just dance, drink, and party, and dance, and drink, and party, and party, and drink, and dance. See, I've seen old footage on TV and stuff, but I guess disco clubs aren't so different than today's clubs. I did notice something different about the women in the disco club footage I saw. I don't fucking know, man. What is it? Well, the clothes, for one. Women in the footage were wearing these really tight dresses, and they had this weird thing in their hand. What was up with those dresses? And what was the thing they had in their hands? Odd dresses and an item in their hand. The way disco women dressed, huh? What were they wearing and holding? I have no fucking clue. A sailor dress and a katana. Probably not that. A leotard and a ribbon. A bodycon dress and a fan. Alright, so fan was the first thing I thought of. Just because I can't think of things that people hold. A ribbon seems kind of weird. I think bodycon dress and a fan makes the most sense. I mean, of course, sailor dress and katana makes the most sense, but, you know, they probably don't want the real truth. Uh. I remember now. They were wearing bodycon dresses and holding fans. Uh -huh. A bodycon dress? Yeah, you know, it's like... I, I mean, I know what it is, but I don't know how to describe it. Uh. Yeah. It's short for body conscious. It was the trend at the time to really show off the body and to hold a fan while dancing. I think the fans are called feather fans. <laughs> wow, I've never heard of that before. That's because I just made it up. This is what happens to trends. I want to wear one of those to my audition. Kyu-san, do you happen to have one? No? Nani. What? Why on earth would I have one of those? <sighs> I suppose that's true. I would love to try those on for my audition and really recreate the era. Body con dress and a feather fan in my hand. Kyu-san, if you happen to find those items, would you mind bringing them back to me here? Why don't you just buy them, lady? What? I don't have to do your shopping for you. Please, I beg of you. I'm not saying it needs to happen for sure, but if you do find them, I'd love to try them on. That's all. Fine. Who knows if I could ever get a hold of those. So I can't guarantee I'll come back. I understand. Thank you. How do I get roped into this? Oh, well. Guess if I find them somewhere, I can bring them back to her. Now that I think about it, though. Did I see those on sale at Don Quixote? Yeah, here's your supermarket dress. Are you happy? Alright, we have just enough time to fight Majima. Yeah! Majima-san! I'm totally fangirling right now! What's going on? Is that Majima-san? Oh, the I love you. You love me. I remember it's fucking... It unlocked some, some core memories from, I don't know, like two years ago. Kichan, what are you standing there gawking at? Come on down! Check this out. I got dancing skills to pay the bills. Everyone's idol. Uh, uh, did Majima do the Michael Jackson side quest? Or was that a Kiyu banger? I think that was Majima who did it. It could I don't remember. Oh, incredible. What's that outfit? Like you got into a fight with a disco ball and it won. Oh? You don't recognize the threads of yesteryear's idols? I pulled this kid up out of my closet and back when I was living the high life. Majima, you never wore that shit. Uh, it turns out this flashy shit ain't so popular anymore. I kinda stand out like a jackass. You asked me to come here? Why exactly? You ever heard of a breaker battle? They hit with the audiences. They get a show and the dancers get a fight, but we don't know how to break it down, man. Can we please unlock Majima's breaker style? The most powerful style to ever exist? Yeah. Destroyed the final boss in like 30 seconds of zero because it's that OP? But the dancer, a fight? Sorry, I've never heard of anything like that. <sighs> Guess not. They were pretty street back in the day. Whatever. Break a battle test the skills of both the dancer and the attack is taking the dance on. Got some idea how that works, right? Uh. Saying audiences don't want to see a one-sided fight. 
battles are only good when everyone is highly skilled. Yeah, exactly. So the true form of my dance is only going to show up if I fight someone on the same level. Or better than me. I see. So that's why you called me. I get it now. Glad you caught on so quick, Ichan. You wouldn't turn me down now, would you? Hmm. It does sound interesting. And if it takes two to pull it off, then I can get behind fighting for a good reason. Alright, no need to rattle your brain about it. Just trying to feed me with everything you got. That'll make it the best show. Come on now. Give it everything you got, Q. Alright. Q, 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 buddy. Q, buddy. Alright, we, we need some, some heat. And we are missing HP, so... I, mean, I guess we can try... I wonder, like... In theory, the dragon's house was to do more damage against, like, strong enemies, right? Please stop Beyblading me. I mean, I don't know if it's really doing more damage. Now, you may be wondering, how did any of that miss? God, the breaker is so annoying. Cause you just like can't fucking hit the dude. You've been kicked in the back of the head? No, 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 my heat action, my heat action! It didn't fucking work? Oh my god, that's one of the problems I have with this game. Like, I feel like the heat is like, the heat actions are way less reliable. Like, the detection on them's? I mean, that could have been in Zero and I just, it's been a couple years so I've forgotten. But there's been a lot of times where it's like, the heat action detection doesn't work. Because like, the rush does have that good climax action where you can like, interrupt an attack like I was using it when we were doing the arena off screen I was holding I'm holding back but he dashes forward please jump, go back holy shit Please get up, please get up, please get up, please get up. No, don't. Alright, there we go. Like, it's a good thing, but it's just, like, the, the detection on when it recognizes you as being able to do it is just a little weird. No, oh, stop, 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 stop. Alright, we got a good string there, at least, of, like, doing decent damage, but now he's in, like, I can never be hit again phase. Oh god, stop, stop. No, my heat! Nope, 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 nope. So what was that thing we got earlier, like last video? It was something to do with like a guard then press B? It was a, it was a quick action. Parrying enemies attack, R1 stance, then circle when enemy attacks.
Okay, it didn't do anything, I don't think. No, 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 no. Your, your heat action, man. Oh god, now we've we've traveled 70 kilometers on foot. Alright. Heat action? Heat action? No? I mean I was like spamming the, the Z button. Not the Z button, the triangle button. And it just didn't work. It's like when it works, it's great. When it doesn't work, you're fucked. I'm sorry, I, I, I don't want to play the game anyway. My 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 heat action? Oh my god. I mean it's like you can do a ton of it's like you just get in these fucking like uh Where it's like I just keep trying to get the fucking thing to work and the controls are so bad. Or the detection on the controls is so bad. And like there, I hit the square button twice. He does a thousand punches and I can't cancel out of them. Just stop spinning in a fucking circle so I can actually hit you just a single time. Awful. Like it was it was good, but like I just could never get the fucking heat action to work. It just kept not working. And it's like if it doesn't work, instead of countering the attack, you just get hit a thousand times instead. Amazing, he be Goro Sons. That's what a real breaker battle looks like. More intense than I thought. Your post's so hot. <laughs> Young, you look like you're like 35 minimum. Are you alright, Majima-san? <laughs> Don't even gotta worry about me. Told you, didn't I? In the break of battle, people who take on the dancer just gotta have as much skill as the dancer himself. Ready. Are you saying you pretended to lose? Uh. Well, being the opponent that Q-chan is, can't say I got out completely unscathed, but... My energy is real. <laughs> ah! Fucking shins! Uh. Hey, don't push yourself. I probably did more damage than you think. This on that! A true performer can never show their pain, even the real damn self to an audience. Whatever. It was a hell of a performance. Made the right call dragging you out here, Kichan. I feel like I'm remembering things I'd forgotten too, thanks to you. That's some fine damn satisfaction there, so it's time to come up with the next challenge. Later, Kichan. Learned Kali Stick Mastery. Whether he's dancing or fighting, Majima-san knows just how to grab an audience's attention and hold it there. Alright. Yeah, that took way too fucking long. I mean, it was, like, going good for that, like, middle section. And then he just gets into his, like, I can never be fucking heat action because the detection is awful. Alright, we'll call it here. Next time we'll, uh, I guess check this out. We'll go down to Don Quixote. I don't know what else there is to do. Oh yeah, we still need to do the pocket circuit stuff. Pocket circuit stuff, but I don't know what the hell's over here at the batting cages. Um, still need to do that, but I don't know how to get, like, car upgrades. That's probably our yen, so maybe it is you need to do each 10,000, 2,000 yen bill at a time, and that's why we couldn't, uh, 
Oh, that's maybe what these are marking. These are where you get the yin bills and you can only do one at a time. Yeah, that could be it. All right, I'm Extra Cheesy 87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.